Alright guys, so we made it to the airport. It's what is it? About six. It's about six right now. TSA line is long as hell. We were having his brother Brian pick us up this morning and I was thinking that the plane took off like a lot later than it did and it ended up being like 40 minutes earlier than it than what it was or than what I thought it was and so I was like trying to find lifts ubers that wasn't working so I'm so glad he picked up the phone but it's uh yeah about 6 a.m we're gonna get on this plane to Houston um fucked my finger up yesterday I'm gonna talk about that a little bit later but I had to get four stitches but man, I'm running off of like pure like excitement and endorphins right now because it's not food and it's definitely not sodium. But uh, yeah, man, I got my two boys with me, Ty and Crosby. Like I'm, I'm so happy I got my two best friends coming with me. But uh, yeah, I'm excited to get to Houston, man. Uh, so we made it through TSA, which was kind of a bitch because like, of course something had to go wrong where he was, dude had to like, feel up my groin I did not like it but water for the day so we got not even this whole bottle this whole bottle is 20 ounces I'm allowed 16 ounces for the next two days which is not even this entire bottle so we're gonna not only be sodiumless very low carb but we're gonna get dehydrated now but it's all part of the plan it's, it is what it is it is what it is I'm about to board this plane dude I'm I'm ready Ready to get there, man. All right, I guess I'll go over what happened to my finger. So yesterday, you know, just chopping up the sweet potatoes. And you know, I'm just using an excessively big ass knife, holding the potato like a dumbass. Chop, stitches, had to go get four. Like it wouldn't quit bleeding. It was just, it was more like annoying that that happened, you know less than 24 hours from I'm about to leave for Houston. Um, trying to stay cool about it though, just cause it is really hard to flex, or to, to, to squeeze my uh, wrist. And I mean, I kinda need to do that on stage, but I'm hoping by Sunday it'll be straight. Regardless though, I brought a bunch of like uh, ibuprofen, so like I might just have to be up there suffering for a minute. But uh, yeah, it, 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 I think I think it'll be straight by Sunday. It's just really annoying that that happened. But hey, man, we about to get on the plane. Let go. what's going on so we are in Houston um, I, I said I was gonna keep it raw uncut and like show the good bad and the ugly of everything in this prep and today really kind of threw me through a curveball at me today has been very rough I expected to you know just come here and be just like immersed in like positivity uh everybody's been super cool super cool but me it's like my body right now is feeling extremely extremely fatigued um i think it's a combination of having super low electrolytes um being dehydrated having very low calories and carbs and then being like sleep deprived um, i was on that It was on maybe about three or four hours of sleep. Um, I actually just woke up from a nap. But when we first got here, um, I was just feeling extremely overwhelmed. I was felt like I was on the verge of straight up like a panic attack. My heart was like getting. I was I was very very anxious. Um, and I mean I'm gonna keep it a buck. I went over to the couch put my head in the fucking cushion and just like sobbed and sobbed and sobbed for like a couple minutes man um 
I think it's a combination of, you know, just building up all this anticipation in your head for three and a half months of what this trip, this weekend is supposed to be like, having feeling so much pressure. Um, man, so I'm, I'm, I was thinking, man, I'm not even going to record. I'm not going to, I'm just going to focus on the show. I'm not going to talk to anybody. I'm just going to, not, not even like try to have fun, just like focus on this show. But like, I am going to try to maximize this time here. I'm going to try to enjoy it. I'm going to try to connect with people. I'm going to try to relax. Um, I think once I get some food in me um, and maybe get a good night of sleep tonight, things will be better. But I'm, I, I would be lying if I said everything was good right now. But uh, I just woke up from a nap, feel a little bit better. Um, we're about to go lift the Alpha Elite here soon. So that, that will, that hopefully that does something good for my just overall feeling. Um, gonna get one more meal in before we do that. Gonna drink a little bit of coffee just to get some energy going. And overall, I'm just happy my boys are here with me, Ty and Crosby. But um, I'm gonna try to make the most out of this, man. And uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna try to turn my mood and just the way that I'm feeling overall. Do a 180 with it. And uh, yeah, so we, uh, we're in Houston, man. And uh, let's make the most of it. got the pre-workout meal of the day here before we hit up Alpha Leap. I have 100 grams of rice, some uh, about 60 grams of spinach, and six ounces of chicken. At this point, I'm fiending for all the meals. <sighs> Feel a little bit better from earlier. I took that nap. I got some more food in me, and I definitely feel that that kind of mellowed me out. I was feeling very just like ah, all over the place earlier, but I am gonna get some pump in me, drink a little bit of coffee, throw some clothes on. I've had my shirt off this whole time, and we're gonna check in at Alpha Elite and hit a lift. I'm super excited to get over there, man. So I will see you guys in the next clip when we're at Alpha Elite Gym. Alright guys, we're here at the infamous, I don't know if infamous is the right word, but famous Alpha Lee Gym. Uh, I'm hearing this pack from the people I'm texting, there's a lot of cars in the parking lot. But we're going to check in, we're going to get our a little, little goodie bag, all that. Um, and get a little workout in, I'm ready for it too. Trying to find something to hit. So I haven't been even vlogging the workout too much, but I've really just been walking around talking to people, hitting some random sets in between, dude. But like, I'm sure in earlier clips you've seen me talking about how shitty I felt. I'm sure I'll feel that later, but like, dude, the vibes in here, just like I knew they'd be, are immaculate. I'm just like talking to people, dude, talking to people I've, I know on Instagram, having a good workout, finally getting a pump, and uh, I got a meal to look forward to when I get back to the Airbnb. So man, uh, this Friday is turning out to be a lot better than, you know, uh, it was going earlier. So I'm not even mad. I didn't get a lot of video. I'm just, I'm enjoying my time, man, in Houston.
Okay. Now just lean into it, get press into that toe. Good. Now what I want you to do is put this hand on the hip here, but I want you to focus on flexing it and it's twisting your hips. Yeah, when you're, it's like pushing this way. Yeah, 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 that way. That way, I want your hips to face that way. Now what I want you to do, don't, don't hold the hip. Squeeze, squeeze like, your left glute. Bro, I've been practicing. I've been practicing for the time as well. Hey, um, is a leak. God, damn, that's a pose on you, bro. But here's the thing. That's that's nasty. All right, we're back at the Alpha Elite Gym for the last little pump up sesh before we step on stage tomorrow. It's not gonna be anything too crazy today. Uh, about two sets on basically every upper body group, nothing close to failure. 50% of a weight I would usually use or less. Um, I got this to drink today, that's it. We added in a little bit more carbs, about 50 grams to each meal. Um, I'm taking out, I'm taking out veggies in the last two meals. And then Alex did say something about burger and fries uh, this evening. And I'm hoping, I'm hoping, I'm hoping for that. I'm gonna use a minimal amount of this, take this pre down, get focus locked in, do some light pump up work and practice posing. That's really what I'm here to do is practice posing. And then, you know, just like associate with all these dope people, man. Like I knew the vibes were gonna be right on point like they were two years ago. Um, but yeah, dude, I'm excited, I'm hype. I woke up feeling good, got about 10 hours of sleep. So let's make it a great day before show them. All right, guys, let's go. People always say to not have any water in your mouth before you do the little dry scoop. I don't know how they do that. This should do it. Alright, so I'm repping the 2019 shirt from when I competed two years ago. Personally, I think this one looks way better than the one they had this year, but it is what it is. I'll wear both of them. All right, so we're going to start off with a couple sets on biceps. Two sets, about 15, 20 reps. Um, nothing close to failure in real life. We just did them biceps, two, two bicep sets. About to get us some cable flies. Probably hit some uh, lat pull downs, abs, posing, chill. Hit that chest. Gonna take pump cover off. Get some shoulders. Once again, real light on everything. My shoulders are actually pretty fucking sore, especially this one because I just got a tetanus shot. So I fucked up my finger. I don't know if I talked about that yet or not, but I fucked up my finger. And this shit hurts. I'm gonna keep it light, especially. Now we're about to hit some lap pull down with this grip, bro. Really fun. Yeah, the mag grips. I was, they had this at a gym I went to a couple years ago. I love them. They help you activate your back and take bicep activation out a lot. A lot. Uh, 
So we back chilling at the Airbnb. I was at Alpha Lee for like two and a half hours, you know, just practicing posing. Got that, obviously, that light little workout in. And then we have the second meal of the day six ounces of chicken, uh, 40 grams of spinach, and 150 grams of rice. We're finally starting to throw some carbs back in, which is nice. I got my tan at four, so gotta wait maybe about three hours before we do that. And then once that tan goes on, it's not really shit I can do just because don't want to sweat it off or fuck it up in any way so I'm gonna relax a little bit I picked up these Alpha Elite joggers got the black pair and then like a gray camo pair and like the thing with Alpha Elite is I love their stuff but it's it's literally like these were 70 bucks a piece and it's just like damn but then again like once you get them in hand the, the material the material of their products are like always top-notch better than really any other fitness apparel brand so I'm never really disappointed when I spend extra money on it but uh I'm gonna relax for a little bit guys oh yeah <laughs> 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 <laughs>